Butterflies often make for really good drawing subject matter and that is because they come in so many different color variations and just make for a really versatile visual addition to many artworks. With that being said, in today's video we will be exploring how to draw a butterfly, more specifically the monarch butterfly. And throughout the process we'll learn how to create quite a realistic monarch butterfly which we'll find quite simple and easy through a few simple steps. With that being said, hey guys, my name is Matt, welcome to another video by artincontext.org where we explore various art related topics and in today's tutorial we will be learning how to draw the monarch butterfly so with that being said let's get into it now in this particular tutorial we will be working with some graphite pencils colored pencils and some pens for some darker detailing and contrast however we're going to start the tutorial by sketching the butterfly outline now we want to start by creating the basic butterfly sketch with our pencils a good suggestion is to draw a horizontal line that will help you to establish the separation between the upper and the lower wings as well uh, we can also start with the upper wings of the monarch butterfly where they are more triangular whereas the lower wings are more circular. Now the body of the monarch butterfly is quite narrow and bullet shaped so it kind of has this bullet like shape and we'll find that the abdomen of the butterfly is slightly narrower than that of the actual body. Now the upper wings or fore wings are slightly larger than the lower pair of wings or hind wings um, which is another word for them and both set of wings do connect to the body of the butterfly. Now using your eraser and pencil uh, again we're just trying to keep it light at this stage with our pencils you want to take some time correcting the form until it resembles the flying monarch butterfly outline again you can look at some reference images to assist you in your drawing process but this early stage of sketching the butterfly is to simply establish the general shape of the butterfly we also want to make sure that we put subtle spikes along the bottom edges of the lower wings as this is also a iconic um, pattern or kind of feature of the actual monarch butterfly now we're going to move on to actually sketching in the pattern patterns on the butterfly wing and we now want to continue with our pencils by adding the cells or patterns into the butterfly wings. Starting with the top wings we also want to make sure to draw a set of elongated shapes uh, which are basically called cells. They kind of have this narrow cylindrical type shape or ellipsis type shape that flow from the body to the middle of the wings. Now as we continue for the lower wing we simply want to draw a set of rectangular shapes or cells that flow along the circular formation of the wing and we can add in more um, um, in the lower wing as the lower wings generally do have more cells uh, so we can actually add some uh, more cells or more patterns within the lower wing. Now these patterns will basically set up the parameters for coloration within the later steps. So we want to make sure that the outer margin along the top wings are relatively thicker than that of the lower wings and this area uh, will then later be colored in black with a marker. So we can also add some circular shapes along the outer margins of both the upper and the lower wings. And once we have drawn one side, we can simply replicate it identically on the other side of the butterfly. Now you do want to take your time sketching in the cells of the butterfly, making sure that they are symmetrical as possible. And once again, the intention is to also maybe look at a few reference images to assist you within your drawing process. And this way you can have a more accurate representation of the actual monarch butterfly. Now we also want to make sure we add in the antenna to the butterfly as well as give the lower wings their jagged edges. Again, this is a very subtle feature but very unique and iconic of the monarch butterfly. Now do take your time with the sketch, making sure the form and patterns are drawn as best as they can. And once we have done that, we're going to start adding in the first layer of color. Now using your colored pencils, in this case we are using colored pencils, again you can use any kind of medium. However, the intention here is to build up your tonal values through your colors starting from lighter colors and ultimately dark darkening them with some warmer uh, darker colors. Now the intention here is using your color pencils try to get a few different oranges yellows and reds for the first layer of coloring. And within the cells of the butterfly, we do want to start adding in yellow, then orange, and then a little red, making sure that we do blend them. Once again, building up those tonal values from lighter colors to the darker colors. Now, again, we are only coloring in the cells of the butterfly, which are the patterns we have drawn. That being said, we will not color in all the patterns or cells as some will be left um, white along the outer margins of the butterfly. Now, take your time with the layering of colors in the cells of the butterfly. By layering darker colors over lighter colors, such as yellows to reds, we 
we will give the butterfly a little bit more of an enriched quality as opposed to having just a single flat color. Now we also want to make sure that we take our time going through all the wings of the butterfly as we layer our colors into the cells and we want to make sure that we are only coloring within the patterns and leaving out the outer margin patterns such as the little circular shapes. Again we do want to make sure we leave those negative or white suggesting those uh, hollow sections within the top areas or the outer margins of the butterfly and again that is a very unique feature to the monarch butterfly. You can also explore making the lower wings coloration slightly lighter than that of the upper wings of the monarch butterfly and again this is just to also play around with tonal variation in terms of creating moments of lighter and darker areas of coloration to kind of give the intention of some areas slightly more illuminated than others. Again we do want to make sure that the coloration is only within the cells situated within the center areas of the wing and the outer shapes within the upper wings and lower wings will be left blank. Now once we have done that we're going to start integrating some black towards the upper wings or within the upper wings. Uh, so we will now proceed to use both a marker and a pen to add black detailing to our butterfly. Again you can utilize any medium you like. Uh, however in this particular tutorial we're kind of learning how to work with this drawing medium and working with marker and pens just works really well with colored pencils and graphite pencils. So using your micron pen we can begin to outline the butterfly including the actual cells. Again we're trying to demarcate the area in which we will integrate black so creating border lines around all the features is just going to help us. Once we have outlined the details starting with one wing at a time we can then proceed by coloring it in uh, making sure we are coloring the wing around the patterns with our black marker or whatever black medium you're using. Now again we do want to make sure we continue this process throughout the entire butterfly although we want to make sure we focus on one wing at a time. Now again we want to still make sure that the patterns remain untouched along the outer marginal areas of the wings these details should remain blank as it is an iconic feature of the monarch butterfly and as you continue with the coloring in the butterfly we can also add some stippling along the edges of the cells and by doing so we just give a little bit more um, texture to the butterfly and create a little bit more um, variety in terms of detailing uh, so by doing this we will give a more seamless integration also between the black and colored areas of the butterfly as opposed to this distinct contrast between color and black margins uh, in a monarch butterfly at this point we can also start to color the body of the butterfly black uh, and we can leave little shapes of negative space to suggest highlights however the body is predominantly black but we can play around with this concept of the body and its hard exoskeleton reflecting some light now we're going to move on to adding black to the lower wings uh, basically we're going to continue with the same process for the lower wings so try using your micron pen to also create stippling along the edges of the cells um, or patterns to create textural qualities once again within the butterfly and once again adding in some stippling along the edges of the patterns creates a little bit more of a seamless integration between the black features and the colored features of the butterfly but as we move to the lower wings uh, we can continue with the process of adding black the same as we did for the upper wings making sure we're working around the features or the surrounding features uh, and we can also add some slight coloration to the lower abdomen feature of the butterfly uh, we do want to make sure that as we're adding these black colored marks we don't fill in the smaller patterns along the edges of the lower wings and as we come to fill in the monarch butterfly drawing with our black marks we should start to see how the butterfly starts to seem a little bit more realistic again a monarch butterfly is quite vivid in terms of its uh, actual features and these qualities are quite easy to replicate within the drawing medium so again once you have filled in the black areas of the butterfly just take your time working on some stippling with your micron pens or ballpoint pen whatever medium you have again creating the seamless integration between the black features along the margins and the areas that are colored in um, and once you have worked in these stippling marks along the edges of the cells within the monarch butterfly we will see that it creates a more natural connection between the colored cells and the black marginal features. However, we're going to move on to the last step and that is adding the last layer of color. So now that our butterfly is basically done at this point, we want to just simply work with some oranges and red coloration with uh, our pencils to kind of deepen the colors uh, in our butterfly monarch drawing. So that's really up to you in terms of how vivid you'd like them to be. But the intention now is to just kind of um, enhance the coloration by coloring over the current colors that 
we have already established. Um, again, work with some darker oranges and some reds to make the colors a little deeper in the Monarch Butterfly drawing. However, try to keep the upper wing slightly darker to create a realistic quality of the butterfly in terms of that subtle distinction between a lighter quality in the light in the lower wings and a darker quality in the upper wings. However, you can continue with this process until you have reached a deep orange hue within the wings of your Monarch Butterfly drawing. And that is it, guys. A few simple steps on how to draw a beautiful and realistic Monarch Butterfly. Some key concepts to take away from this uh, tutorial. Uh, one, set up the actual butterfly with a simple pencil sketch, then kind of draw in all the details. From there, you can build up your tonal values with color and ultimately darken them with some uh, pen and marker marks uh, where you can play around with shading, stippling to kind of create more texture and seamless integration between the black features and the colored features. And then ultimately you can uh, enhance the coloration of your Monarch butterfly by going over them with some warmer, darker colors. But otherwise guys, that is it for today. If you did like this video, please do drop a like and a subscribe. This helps us to grow the channel, which ultimately enables us to make more art related content for you guys, which we love to do. And if you are interested in similar or related topics, please let us know in the comment section below, whether it be something like drawing animals or insects uh, or anything related to nature or just anything in general, please let us know in the comment section below um, and we will definitely consider it. But otherwise, guys, thanks again for tuning in. That is it from me today. Until next time, cheers.